In this video, we will show you a number of features offered by Fault Analyzer to display information about Kix fault entries. To access the Kix information menu, navigate through the third menu hotspot that is displayed after starting interactive analysis on a Kix fault entry, or by typing 3 into the command bar. At the top of this menu, you will see a summary of key details about the running Kix region and transaction, as well as the failing terminal ID. The first option in this menu, Kix Control Blocks, displays the data contained in the control block areas at the time of the ab end. The contents of the system and user exec interface blocks will be shown in a formatted display at the top, if present, while other Kix Control Blocks will be shown below in an unformatted display. The second option available is the Kix Transaction Storage Summary. This option will display a short summary of all the storage areas requested for the failing Kix transaction including their address, length, and type, which can be either user or system storage areas in 24 or 31-bit. 64-bit storage areas are listed separately at the bottom of the display. Fault Analyzer will also display a message if it believes a storage overlay in the corresponding storage area has occurred. The third option available, the Kix Transaction Storage panel, will show a detailed storage display of the previously summarized transaction storage areas, complete with the hex values in memory and their corresponding obsidic or ASCII values. The final option to be shown in this video is the last Kix 3270 screen buffer display. This option will show you the contents of the 3270 terminal display at the time of the faulting ab end. This screen can be toggled to display the hex values of the character contents, where all of the hex values will be displayed vertically under each character in each line.